Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to Let's Play Jurassic World Evolution and we are going to continue off from the last episode and we are off to Isla Murta. Let's go. Beware of dangerous storms as they can cause a terrible devastation to your island operations. Okay, good hint. We don't want storms. We do not want storms. We just completed the la uh, all three missions uh, from each sector, so we have fr we've done all that. We've got a three star. We're going to return to it eventually. As if prehistoric creatures weren't enough to contend with, on this next island, Isla Muerta, you may have uh, some meteorological events. You know, storms, extreme weather, that kind of thing from time to time. So each one's going to increase the difficulty as we go on. As you can see, the weather on this island can be a little temperamental. First thing you're going to want to do is fix any damage this storm has caused. You should use a ranger team to get the park operational again. Oh, and don't forget to close any emergency shelters when it's safe to do so. Guests won't spend their hard-earned dollars huddled in a bunker underground, will they? Hmm? That must have been quite the storm. And it seems that bad weather is often... A precursor to bad behavior from the dinosaurs. If you believe that everything is connected, the so-called butterfly effect, and I do believe it, by the way, then one small change is all it takes to create a series of toppling dominoes leading to rampaging dinosaurs. And they don't make a butterfly net big enough to stop them. Well, so we just basically... Oh, we've got minus 15,000. We need to just quickly zip around find where we need to go to, because driving the storm it isn't that easy. Oops. We need to go around and repair everything. Repair the vents. That was pretty fair, that was nice. There's an excellent over here. Repair fence. Okay, I don't know what that symbol is at the top. I'm guessing that's a storm shelter and maybe a storm. This is a Muerta, it's quite treacherous when it looks at things. It's good to drift on. So the storm's cleared, so this is our storm shelter. So let's close all storm shelters. So what have we got on this island? Let's have a quick overview. We had two hatchings, uh, two viewing galleries, uh, storm shelter, we've got a ranger team, we've got our storm defense, and we've got the arrival point and by the looks of things only one power station with 16 unused power. So how far does this extend down? So it does go quite far down. Uh, we've got a large area over here that we can build on as well. So what's the first thing we want to do? Let's get some dinos in here. And um, we're gonna hatch uh, one hundred percent with modified genome. We're going to go through and uh, modify on its genome. So we're going to arid pattern gene. Oh, lifespan. We want to have the best rating that we can get. So that's twelve. That's eleven. Well, we're just going to go for the pure ratings. That doesn't do anything to the ratings. Does this do anything to the lifespan? Six, six, sixty-eight, sixty-nine is the best one we've got. And this is the lifespan. So rating of Lifespan up to 80 or up to 77, resilience up to 76 on viruses because obviously it was getting more viruses on the other island uh, and racing up to 13. So we'll do one of them. So let's incubate that one, that's fine. Uh, let's go over to the Cer Ceratosaurus and we're going to incubate that. That is 100%, that's already had its modified genome traits. So we're going to have one of those. We we'll obviously want to put in one feeder on each one. So enclosures, ground herbivore feeder. We'll stick that right in front of the viewing gallery so our guests can see them eat. And obviously on this side, we're going to want a... Do we want the live or what one's the better one? Provides meat and suitable nourishment for carnivore dinosaurs. Food is served on schedule, so more than one feeder may be needed to support groups of dinosaurs and there's only going to be one or two in here so that's fine 
ranger team and ranger team so this provides an activity form so we are going to place this it, it just reminds me purely of uh, Jurassic World when the T-Rex is eating so we're going to put that one there they both got water they both got forest they both got a bit of shrub we just got this one's ready to go already, so we're going to release that one. And this one's only at 28%, so we've still got a bit of time on this one. What else do we need? So, this was the power storm. We've got the arrival gate up there, the ranger team. We don't have an expedition or research or a fossil center on this island at the moment. How much money are we earning? We're minus 9,000 per minute at the moment, so increase science reputation by completing science contracts and then complete prehistoric life on Isla Matanaceros. Well, we've done that one, we just need to increase the science reputation on this island. Same with entertainment, same for security before we can actually do the second mission. Okay, what was that? Add a new team for 50,000. No, we're not worried about the teams at the moment. I kind of want to electrify these fences, but I'm a bit worried of funds. So we're not going to do that. Where's the Struthio Mimus? Oh, the Struthio Mimus is straight away going to its feeding. Population and social are fine. Everything's looking 100%. That's absolutely fine. Our Ceratosaurus is at 63%, so we're just waiting for that. How much is it going to cost? So that's 400,000 with 10 power. 400,000 with 10 power. 400,000 with 10 power. 400,000, 400,000, 100,000. Okay, so everything's quite a bit more on this. Guest satisfaction, we haven't got much. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just trying to think what's going to be the best way starting out building money on this park. Guest satisfaction is going to be very low until we can start getting stuff on this part for them. Now, a hotel is going to be way out of the option at this moment in time. So we're more going to be looking at what can we supply the guests with to keep them happy. Hotel is definitely the other way. So a gift shop will be funding shopping. That's going to be food and drinks. So that's 300000 We can afford 300000 at the moment. So we're going to place these somewhere where it's not going to be too much of a hassle for them. And we're going to place that one there. A little bit of a slope down to it. That's absolutely fine. Because this will be like the central hub. And maybe the hotel can sit on this side. Might have to move these power pylons out the way or even up here. Our dinosaur is ready. Let's release it. The Ceratosaurus. Oh, I didn't change the genome of its skin properties. So once again, it just looks very normal. So I'm not going to see that one be released. We are going to continue on. So we had the gift shop, which is open in there. We're going to have fast food. Possibly, it needs to be somewhere within. Right there. So the gift shop and the fast food are right on the path. So, you know, they're not going to have to walk off anywhere. Let's straight away, we're going to lunchbox. No, we're going to go for the night vision. We're going to put it up to $50. Oh, maybe they didn't like that. When it goes... And no guests wanting to go in there? to see what's going to attract more guests. We'll leave it as thirty dollars. Trying to keep everybody happy is ridiculous. So fourteen is going to be minus twenty, minus five, nine dollars, twenty-two dollars, thirty-three dollars. Obviously, the higher you go, the less guests you're going to have. We'll set it for twenty-three. That's a hundred. So, right, so we should be now making a profit. 
Uh -huh, here we go. We are making a good amount of profit per minute. So that's 58,000 per minute we're almost making. So that's fine because that's going to start bringing in a nice bit of revenue. And now we can start looking at expanding this park. So the first thing, obviously, get your guest satisfaction to a decent level. You know, bring in some fast food, bring in some gift shops so they're able to go out and do some stuff. Look at the dinosaurs. Obviously, we've got a very small streaky mimus. And we've got a Ceratosaurus right in there. It's got the feeder. Is it hunting? It is hunting. It's going for it again. I love watching this. Eat that goat. There we go. Up in the air. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. And the Struthium Imus, as it is I heard before, is just going to eat this plant right in front of the guests that stood there. And the guests can see it just down in front of them. And it's roaming at the moment, so that's fine. That was obviously in the hunting, but it's not anymore because it's done. I want to quickly change the genome so I'm not... Oh, no, I cancel. Can I cancel it? Oh, no. Okay, so we're going to have two Ceratosauruses. That's fine. Uh, okay. They're both going to look the same. As a mistake on my part. Profit per minute is 69, so it's climbing. 69, yep, yeah, so 85. Right, so that's constantly climbing, that's fine. Um, it's La Muerta. Poor variety, great welfare, two dinosaurs, half a star. Facilities, dinosaur visibility is 100%. Food rating is 12, 12, 12, 6, and 20. But it's slowly climbing. That's fine. Because that's all up here. If we have a look at the management view and food, it's this one down here in these food. So I might actually bring that path along, depending on how far we can go on the map. Yep, so I'll bring the path along in a straight line and just add on the back of here another food and another, uh, probably a clove shop this time rather than a gift shop. And I might add something just in the middle of here, but you know, I don't want to block in the gates so we can't get entry. There is a new job available, and I know just the person to do it. Use the expedition center to unearth an Ankylosaurus fossil. Except. Except. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. We don't have an expedition center. Love. But maybe we can build one. But we need to get some money. Because we have no money. I'm probably going to actually put the expedition center up in the back here with the research center and this will be our little research area up here and then we can have the pen going further on down here and having because is this part of the map this is part of the map so we can have one pen down here or maybe two pens just off to the side here and off to the side there and then one small path going through here a little pen in here for some struthia mimus or some other dino and then another pen just down here because obviously the size of the Hammond Creation Labs are quite big, so they are going to need a bit of room. So I reckon just up here, oh, we've actually got quite a bit of area. So if I extend this path out and put the research lab and the exhibition team and have the path going along the coast, I'm going to have a path in here with a dino pen, possibly. Well, it's something that we're going to have to have a look at. But at the moment, we've got 220,000. We need. I believe it's 300,000. Let's have a quick look. Operations, 400,000. 400,000 and power. How much power we use at the moment? We've got 10 unused power. So I'm going to have to create another power, uh, small power station, possibly up here. Let's have a look. Would I be able to put a small power station at the cost of half a million? Would I be able to put one up here? More than likely. But we're going to have to wait for that because we haven't got the funds. How are we doing? 84%. It's still going. That's fine. Struthio Mimus is looking happy. It's content. And this one here. Now, I only put two in the last one. It's just because, obviously, if you look down the uh, on the stats bar, the social, it doesn't like a lot of dinos. What does it say on here? The Ceratosaurus is a medium-sized theropod and eats large amounts of meat from any source. 
They are normally solitary, but can exist in small social groups and alongside a modest, modest number of dinosaurs from other species. So maybe a velociraptor. It's a large carnivore. Their territory should comprise of good-sized grassland with a small area of forest cover, which they have just on the back there, as you can see. And obviously, he's got his water where he can drink from if he needs to. Uh, it just gives you some stats about them. So it's weight, height, length. Total star rating is a five star dino. Look at that. Five star dino. Brilliant. Compact and welfare are fine. It's 100% authentic. That's what we like. We like 100% authentic dinosaurs. Lifespan is 80. It's age 4 at the moment. Attack genes, defense genes, resilience, blah 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 blah. And combat. Goats killed two. It's killed two goats. It's, it's been hungry. It's had a long day, or a long four years apparently. So what about our Struthia Mimus? Let's have a look at the stats on that. Where are you? You're in here somewhere. There you are. It's not even a one star dino. It's just over half a star. We've got a half a star versus a five star. Brilliant. Okay, so what are we looking on funds? We're almost ready to create an expedition center. I wonder. Now, actually, I have the two islands already unlocked. If I create the expedition center on this island, can I then unearth the fossils on the first island whilst I keep doing expeditions on the second island? Will that work? There's only one way to find out, isn't there? We're going to go ahead and build it. Wrong way. Um, come on. Don't do this. Terrain is being a bit of a bum. Let's just increase this path a tiny bit by going have a look map view okay so we're going to take the path we're going to curve the path down onto this line and then we're going to curve it back around there. Doesn't look pretty, I know, but it's fine. Now, can, where's, what was it, operations, expedition center, let's turn it around. Alright, so I can place that there. Does it need a path? Okay, so that's our exposition center. That's it being built. Our new Ceratosaurus, yeah. That was a misclick. And unfortunately you can't undo these. So you just have to continue on. Our power is gonna be 100% used now. So before we can do anything else, we need half a million to be able to get the new that stop facility not built to connect the laboratory services you must build a facility fossil center on this island okay I know it's asking me to do but we can't do it at the moment so let's go back to the control room island navigation and let's go to this island and see what we've got because we've still got one contract so we might as well go and have a look I love the music brings back so many childhood memories ok hurry up we're done waiting now yes can I skip this? I can skip this let's skip 
So, let's get rid of that one. We'll do those two. So I'm not sure if those were the ones that we just collected. If I go onto this now, it's got all of the new ones that we can find. So it's got the Anglosaurus, it's got the Cori... Corithiosaurus, I think so, I'm not sure. What else can we uncover? What? Oh, so we've got more dots over here, so what have we got over here? A Dilophosaurus, Dilophosaurus, uh, Chunkingosaurus, and a Hyenagosaurus, I don't know. We've got Velociraptors! We can un... Oh, there's two. Mongolia and China. We can unearth Velociraptors. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. But we can't because once again, we are out of time for part seven. So, next episode, Velociraptors. We will start expeditions. But until then, guys, take it easy. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, give it a like. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and we will be back for part eight the Velociraptor. Until then, I've been Kruger, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye for now.